996, it's a 680 tonne excavator now. They've been around since 1996, but we were the first people in Australia to have them. We believe the best that money can buy. And they are unique in the systems they run, uh, but also the fluids that they hold as well, and the, I guess, potential for, for fire hazards. phone call about midnight, uh, in the middle of June, um, one of our excavators was on fire, so uh, we came out and um, see the uh, emergency was underway uh, when we got here. Um, upon investigation uh, from the incident, we found that uh, a starter cable uh, had melted uh, from, from an overheat uh, and that had started the fire. Effective production, uh, we'd lost a 996, so effectively lost one of our main production machines, um, which parked a fleet of trucks up as well. The question was asked to Lieber uh, after the incident if there was a system available that could protect the electrical circuit, and uh, the answer we got was no, we didn't accept that. And utilising the, the skills and knowledge on site and, uh, and at Mount Thorley and, and within TEAS, we are able to develop this system. I initially got asked after this happened, did I think that we could come up with a process to eliminate the fires, um, of which, which I said that I believe we could, and that was really the, the start of the investigation working with uh, Liebherr. They made me aware at that stage that they had had incidents on, on the same machines in other mines around the world, so I guess there was a bit of it pressure from the industry to, for them to do something about it and this is where they made me aware of the 1000 amp relays, the Kistling relays that come from Germany. From that then I grabbed hold of it and at the same time engaged Jeremy from Robards who's an electrical contractor that works very closely with us and has worked with us for a number of years. From then on Jeremy and I had the discussions and what we could do and what we couldn't do and um, and then we set about on how we were going to make it happen. Roger approached me, said um, we need to do something with our with our 996 Lieber excavators with a thousand amp relay, which he he had. And he said to me, we need to come up with a, a controller or a solution on how to control the thousand amp relay and the starting system on the on the 996. Along that journey, many of the other issues that impacted on reliability and maintenance, we were able to wrap up with the project. The ISPU uh, is a first um, for earth moving. We wanted to start fresh and uh, get a system that we, we knew would work and I guess would go that extra step um, with the starter motors as well. And I guess working together with the, the Mount Thorley team and, and Lieber, we were, we were able to pull that off. The key to it was being maintenance free and, and basically self-diagnostic, which, which it is, and it wanted something that would only stop the machine if it had a real problem. With the self-diagnostics, it enabled us to go to the machine at a non-productive time and carry out any necessary repairs at that time rather than impacting the job. Uh, these are the visual LEDs that the operator will see for over crank, start a fault, and start a engaged, and the engine will shut down. It was a was a, a complex job. Uh, we worked as a team and come up with a solution and uh, and, a, and a great outcome. The team that's been involved uh, in the whole project have been absolutely tremendous. Um, it's Everybody stood up to the challenge. We're really happy with the, with the outcome. We're a mining contractor and to maintain our edge in mining contracting, we have to come up with innovations, ways to do things better and ways to do things smarter. And that's one thing that TEAS does very well.